Wow, what's the mother from the Kaden deal, man? Sheldon vibes in this thing, y'all. You know I'm talking about, listen, if you ain't subscribed to the channel by now, I'm gonna need you to go ahead, hit the subscribe button, hit that like button, and tap that notification bell as well. That way, you are amongst those who are notified as soon as I release new content. Also, don't be shy, drop me some in the comment section. That way, I can familiarize myself with you and recognize who you are as we are reacting to the videos. Now, in this video today, it is titled U.S. Veteran work for the FBI to expose KKK members in law enforcement. Yeah, who's surprised? Not me, about KKK members in the law enforcement, that is. You see what I'm saying? We been new this, we been new this. Yeah, now, I appreciate all my subscribers. We are on our way to 3K, man, I can't believe it. We are on our way to 3K. Thanks to y'all's support. And for the newcomers coming in, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And I will be stopping this video and conversating and engaging with y'all because that's what I do. If you are one of those people who don't like to hear a personality speaking over the video, the video is out on the web. All you have to do is search for it. I have to address this for the goof troops who jump in the comment section talking about let the video play as if this is not my show. And I have to reiterate and like I said, engage with y'all. So if you don't want to hear that, go ahead and exit now. But it'd be so much doper if you stayed, kicked it, lit one up, popped the top, sat back, relaxed, and enjoyed this good old content that I'm about to bring to you. You know what I'm saying? So without any further ado, I'm going to light up my situation. You know what I'm saying? While y'all hitting that like button and subscribing to the channel. Now, they're bringing all this FBI to, you know, work as a law enforcement to expose the KKK members. What are they doing about it, though? This is what I want to know. So hopefully we get some type of information about it, what they doing to these police officers that's in the law enforcement. But let's see. The members of the KKK... In public, they state that they're a peaceful, law-abiding organization protected by the First Amendment. What well, the? However, in secret, they constantly discuss violent acts in support of their ideology. They used terms that I wouldn't use. They used terms that began with letter N. And from day one, I decided that I would never use that word even if it created a more dangerous situation for myself. So when I'm with these guys, I'm in. That was a bit confusing. He said, I would never use that word, even if it created a more dangerous situation for myself. If you use that word, it will create a more dangerous situation for yourself. Especially if you use that word around somebody that's black, you know what I'm saying? So, I don't know what he was trying to say when he said that. Maybe he was just trying to separate himself from those who are considered racist, I guess. Character. I realize that at any moment, I could <laughs> hear a bang. If you were found out during this operation, recording these conversations, what do you think would... I'd be murdered, without a doubt. But Moore decided to take that risk anyway. By 2014, he'd become a Grand Nighthawk, or security officer in the KKK. It was then that he was approached by three fellow Klan members who were current and former guards at a state prison. They wanted his help to murder a black inmate. One of those guards was Charles Newcomb, the exalted Cyclops Luke. of the Florida chapter. Moore alerted his FBI handlers to the plot and began making secret recordings. Eventually, the FBI staged a photo of the inmate's death. Some people choose to co continue to contribute to the problem. Some people choose to be part of the solution. Moore met up with Newcomb at a gas station to show him the staged photo. So I remember actually sitting here waiting for Newcomb to pull up. 
and I was thinking to myself, concentrate on your breathing, keep yourself under control, focus on what you have to do. It may say concentrate on Don't your breathing. Think it. For real. <laughs> you, I do get some of the feelings hearing this video, watching this video, seeing the tree. This tree is that tree. Moore made this secret recording of Nukin's reaction to the fake murder photo. Now, I want to make sure this is that y'all are happy with this and that this is what y'all wanted. Okay? Oh, yeah. Okay. I was asked by the FBI to begin moving towards uncovering more specific law enforcement agencies. However, the public interest and the public safety issue came up with the murder plot and that took a priority. So I know that I was on track to uncover more activity in law enforcement, but the immediate threat to the public with the murder plot was a priority and I was only one person. There was only so much I could do. Over the, the 10 year span of my operations, I uncovered people that were former military, current military, mm -hmm. former law enforcement, current law enforcement, state, local, and county level. Moore says the three current and former prison guards implicated in the murder plot. Not surprised, not surprised, not surprised, not surprised. Not surprised, not surprised, not surprised, not surprised. We're also actively recruiting new clan members at the prison. But Florida's Department of Corrections disputes yeah. that, telling the AP that the agency found no evidence of wider <laughs> membership or a systemic problem, <laughs> and saying in a statement that, quote, any willful breach of our values or participation in illegal activity by FDC staff will result in disciplinary action up to and including dismissal. This that bull, boy, they be lying because it was a, it was a pff, racist son of a bitch that wrote this right here. And arrest. That statement by the state is not accurate based on the facts. From where I sat with the intelligence laid out. Now. I can tell you that. Y'all thought I was just talking shit just a moment ago, huh? Y'all thought I was a little too hard when I called him a racist son of a bitch, didn't you? He just validated, but hey, I guess it takes a white man to tell you. None of these agencies. Patrick Henry once said, give me liberty or give me death. Tupac said, what's the difference than me saying, I don't give a fuck? Have Same any shit. control over any of it. It is more prevalent and consequential than any of them are willing to admit. If you want to know why people don't trust the police, it's because they have a relative or a friend that they witness being targeted by an extremist who happened to have a badge and a gun. And I know as a fact... How many times have black people told y'all this, but... A white man just told y'all, hold on, let me back it up for the slow ones in the back. He just said what we've been preaching a hundred million, gazillion years. It's because they have a relative or a friend. Back it a little more. None of these agencies have any control over any of it. All right, here it you go. is more prevalent and consequential than any of them are willing to admit. If you want to know why people don't trust right the here. police... It's because they have a relative or a friend <clears throat> that they witness being targeted by an extremist who happened to have a badge and a gun. And I know as a fact that this has occurred. I stopped a murder plot of law enforcement officers. Wow, okay. I guess. But this ain't been blown up and broadcasted across mainstream news outlets and all that type of stuff, you know what I'm saying? You gotta dig to find information like this and they not doing it in mass numbers. Yeah, they not putting a 
magnifying glass on it to amplify it. You dig what I mean? Anyway, let me know what y'all think about this video in the comment section. Make sure you hit that like button on your way out and subscribe to the channel if you ain't already. If you are a subscriber, I appreciate you for vibing out with me and fornicating with me. Till next time, shut the vibe, signing out.